Hello friends, so let's welcome to all of you. Today we will learn about the EDA basic knowledge like what the EDA standards. So EDA X12 is the default US EDA standards outside the US EDA fact the X12 equivalent. The EDA transaction within the United States must conform uh, <clears throat> to the X12 EDA standard and required compliant quality of software for translation. If we talk about the EDI, what is EDA X12? The EDA X12 is the in, uh, NCX12 as well. NCX12 is a formally called as the ASC X12 EDI Accredited Standard Committee X12 Electron Data Interchange. Is a standard established to go, go on to use the EDI electronically exchange inform, information between organizations. X12 EDI includes a set of the transactions and corresponding messages that define the specific business document widely used across the industry today. Uh, if we talk about the benefit of the EDA X12, then X12 standard allows US companies to communicate information and transfer documents from the business to business without uh, the hurdles um, of com competitive um, software and unsecure connection that leave proprietary data invulnerable outsider. X12 has been developed to provide standardizations um, and centralized data transfer system that created efficiency in the business communication. As per the as the most com most common EDA standard in the United States, X12 users uh, represent the vast number of the businesses and numerous industries, especially um, prominent in the healthcare industry due to the HIPAA, the health, HIPAA health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act regulations enacted in 1996. Uh, the, in the law. <clears throat> Uh, requires a nation standard for electronic health care and transaction transaction set for the HEPA ADA are based on the X12. One of the most vulnerable, um, valuable, sorry, most valuable X12 asset, assets uh, is its comprehensive transaction set, which in, includes commonly used business transaction or documents such as invoices, uh, shipment, notice, or purchase order. Uh, X12 boards over. 300 transactions standard within five industries based on the subset or substandards. The five common, the five functional transaction set of subset includes first is the communication control, second is the finance, third is the transportation, fourth is the supply chain, and fifth is the insurance. If we talk about the each industry uses a specific subset based on the extra standard, for example, grocery industry uses a subset UCS for its EDA uh, communication and APS retail users VICS as well. So industry specific actual subset is called as below uh, following the HIPAA Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, UCS and Uniform uh, Unit Communication Standard, VICS Voluntary Inter Industries Communication com Commerce Standard, AIHE Automobile Industry Action Group, CIDX Chemical Industry Data Exchange, EIDX Electronic in Industry Data Exchange, Electronic Data Inter Exchange Group, Compute. TIM, PIDX, American Pet Petroleum Institute. Common actual type, maxis type of transactions, there are the multiple actual transactions that we generally use in the actual structure 204, 276, 856, 858, 859, 860, 861, and 90, and 97. So these are the transactions we have just learned, and these are the transaction set like segments are there. ST segment for transaction set header, BG for the beginning of the segment for the purchase order, CUR for the currency, RF, RF for the reference identification, PER for the administrative communication contract, X for the tax reference. For, for the FOB related information, CTP for the pricing information, PAM for the period amount, CSH sales requirement, TC2 for the community, and SE for the transaction side trailer. These are the segments we generally use. So today we have learned about the EDI basics information. If you like my video, please like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.